Hi, my name is Michael Gatewood and I'm in Photoshop CS6 and I uh, want to show you how I'm going to make a sign look a little distressed and as if metal is rusting through. What I have here is I have a JPEG of uh, rusted metal or, uh, well, it looks as if it's distressed. What I'm going to do is right click, I'm in Adobe Bridge, and I'm going to go Place and I'm going to go in Photoshop. And what I've done is I've placed it, this metal, right in here in between a white background layer and this metal or this uh, sign, which is pretty much just clip art. You can see the sign at the top, and it's right here at the bottom an image. And Let's go in here and do one other little thing, and that is to go in and turn this off and probably grab a paintbrush. Now, one thing I want to let you know is that I went to Adobe Exchange and I typed in brushes. Now, I have a username and password, and you can, of course, set up your own, but there's all kinds of brushes and a couple of them that I downloaded were grunge brushes and rust brushes and all kinds of other brushes and uh, to give myself some real quick easy one-click wonders so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here into Photoshop I see that I have the metal background let's go in here and let's go to the layer with the sign and let's go ahead and make this an old rusted stop sign what I'm going to first do is I'm going to simply go in here and do some selection work around the sign itself. Now I have set this up to be able to do multiple selections. And what I'm also going to do now is go to the metal and I'm going to cut. So let's go ahead and rasterize this layer instead of a smart object and let's go ahead and cut. There we go. Now we have the same shape, the rusted metal. One of the other things that I'd probably like to do is maybe go into the burn tool. Going into the burn tool, and let's get right over there. There we go. And uh, darken a few of these areas by going into maybe the shadows and have a fairly strong brush. And let's get over here. And I'm using the bracket keys to kind of go in here and darken up a few areas and give it a little more stress. There we go. And now we might even go in here into the midtones and pop those a little bit. There we go. All right. Now let's go back here and let's go to the sign itself. Now, with all these great brushes, and I've got a few. Down here at the bottom, I have a few brushes that are, these are more like rust. And if I go and I just simply decrease the uh, size of my brush, and let's go ahead and use bracket keys to do that, we can put that right over the sign and click. Whoop, Control Z is undo. You know, one of the things that we're probably going to want to do is add a mask to this. So, I've got a mask. White reveals, black conceals, and there we go. A little bit of rust. Control Z is undo. Change the opacity, and the rust is very translucent. Control Z is also undo. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take a look at a couple of the other brushes that we have available to us. Now, I've got a couple of these grunge brushes that I might want to click and there, that looks pretty cool. I'm definitely distressed. Let's go ahead and turn up the opacity all the way up again and go back in and check out a couple of our other brushes. I see that we have a couple that we could use as kind of a spot treatment. Now I'm going to go in here and, of course, reduce these brushes down using the bracket keys. and You can see it kind of coming into effect. And there we go. And now what we have is the ability to, with one click, show all kinds of rust and, well, decay on this particular sign, making it just a little bit more interesting than just a flat red and white stop sign. Now we've got a little bit of rust. 
if we want to, we can also combine a couple of uh, actual brushes. And let's go ahead and use the bracket key on this and maybe pop it one more time. And there we go. Still says stop. It looks a little rusty. And we can also go in there and we can dull down paint and do other things to make it a little more interesting. All we need to do is save this and we can put this into a brochure, newsletter, whatever we're creating that may need some kind of signage to direct them to do something. My name is Michael Gatewood and thank you.